You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella Hey guys welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting and sewing this trendy shift dress with turtleneck that you can see on your screen if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started before i start placing my measurements i'll go ahead and rule out half inch on the upper part of my fabric that line is going to serve as a base for me to start taking my measurements. My fabric is already folded into four and I left 1.5 inches on the center back for my zipper allowance. The next thing I'm doing is to take half of my round arm hole measurements, which is 8 inches. My round arm hole measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. I marked the 8 inches and I ruled a straight line across. And I went ahead to label that line my chest line. So like I said before, my fabric is folded into four. I have one closed edge and two open edge. So and my zipper allowance is 1.5 inches. The next point I'll take is the distance from my shoulder to my bust point, which is 10 inches. I also went ahead to rule a straight line across that point and I labeled it my bust line. The next line you should rule is your waistline. I don't even know how I forgot to take my waistline. The next point I am taking is the distance from my shoulder to my hip point which is 23 inches i also went ahead to rule a straight line across and i labeled the line my hip line the next point is the length of my dress so the length of my dress is 14 inches and i'm marking one inch which is going to serve as my stitching allowance i went ahead to rule a straight line across the one inch mark and i labeled that line my dress length so the next thing i'm going to do is to take half of my shoulder measurements which is 7.5 inches since i'll be adding sleeves to this dress i'll be adding half an inch to that same measurement so instead of taking 7.5 inches i'll be taking 8 inches on the shoulder line after doing that i'm going to go ahead and place the same measurement that i have on the shoulder line i'll place that same measurement on the chest line after doing that i'll connect the dots on the shoulder line to meet the dots on the chest line the next thing I'm going to do is to go down on that straight line by one inch from my shoulder slope and I'll place my ruler I'll slant from there into the neckline area. The next thing I'll do is to place my tape on this straight line and I'm going to mark what I have and I'll divide it into two equal halves. So what I have is 7 inches, half of 7 inches is 3.5 inches, I'll indicate the 3.5 inches with a dot. On that 3.5 mark, I'm going to come in what like this by half an inch. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and place my bust circumference divided by 4 on the chest line. I also indicate the point with the chalk. After doing that, I'm going to use my ruler to connect from the shoulder slope to meet the half an inch and from that point to meet the mark that I have on the chest line. The next thing I'll do is to add my stitching allowance to the bust circumference divided by 4 that I already have on the chest line. So I'll be adding 2 inches because this is a free dress. So I'll stitch with 1 inch and I'll leave 1 inch for ease. The next thing I did was to go ahead and mark the distance from my shoulder to my waistline which is 16 inches. I went ahead to rule a straight line across. So I forgot to do this earlier. That is why I'm doing this now. So when you start taking your points, make sure you rule out your waist point. So what I'm going to do is to place my waist um, circumference divided by four on the waistline and i'll go ahead and also add two inches to that measurement okay so two one inch is for ease and one inch is for stitching allowance on the hip line i'll place my hip circumference divided by four and i'll also add two inches for um stitching allowance and ease i'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect from the chest line to meet the waistline and from the waistline to meet the hip line like this
so guys as you can see on the thumbnail you can tell that the length of the dress okay is free so i placed my tape on what i have on the hip line and i went ahead to add about two inches to that measurement because it's like an a-shape um dress so i just decided to connect okay i'll connect from what i have on the base to meet the hip line just like you see me doing after connecting like this i'll go ahead and take my neckline measurement so for the um, neck width i'll be using three inches for both the front and the back for the depth for the back i'll be using 1.5 inches and for the front depth i'll be using two inches so i'll advise that you use 2.5 inches for the front depth and it also depends on how big you are so i'm not making this for myself i'm making this for a client so i'll go ahead and take 2.5 inches i took two inches before and then i trimmed out half an inch okay and it was okay on my client so for the back depth i took 1.5 inches for the front depth i took two 0.5 inches so since i'm cutting directly on my fabric i'm going to go ahead and add half an inch on this shoulder area but on the neckline area i'm not going to add half an inch because i'll be attaching the total neck on that part so what i'll do is to add half an inch on this shoulder area just like you see me doing and i'll connect back into the neckline area after doing that guys i'll go ahead and cut so pay close attention so you know where to cut so guys after cutting all the way down in order to um eliminate the sharp edge that you can see on the base of this dress i'll go up on the side by one inch and then i'll use my ruler to connect like this in a curve that way after sewing we are not going to have that sharp edge on the side of the dress so i'm going to go ahead and cut that part out like this after doing that guys this is what i have so we have the front as you can see i only trimmed out the back neckline i've not trimmed the um, front neckline and the front arm o so this is the back piece we have our zipper allowance so for the front i'll go ahead and trim out the front neckline and the front arm o remember we went in by half an inch on the arm o that is the point i trimmed out on the front pattern so once i open it up guys this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is to place the front and the back together just like you see me doing i'll go ahead and join the shoulders so i can cut my total neck and i'll go ahead and also close the zipper allowance but i'll leave a little bit of opening on the neckline area so guys i've gone ahead to do that i went ahead to iron the zipper allowance and i sewed it close but i left opening on the neckline area and i've also sewn my shoulders in place the next now is to open the neckline area both the front and the back neckline plus the um zipper allowance and i'm going to measure all all the way from this part to the other part after measuring what you have is what you are going to use to cut out your total neck so once i measured the neckline what i had was 22 inches so i'm going to go ahead and bring a fresh fabric that i'll be using to cut out my total neck so this is the fabric i'll be using for the total neck area i'm going to fold into two like this and then i'll fold like this again into four okay so i'm cutting this total neck in a bias form because i want it to really relax on my client's body so if you're looking for a way to cut out a total neck that will be relaxed that will not just stand fold your fabric like this after folding i'm going to take the radius the folded part of this fabric i'm going to place my tape like this and i'll mark four inches all the way around so i'm using four inches in case it's too much you can just sew the total neck and cut out the excess so this radius is okay if you can decide to reduce it to three inches after doing that i'm going to mark the wideness of my total neck since i'll be joining both up and down i am taking 2.5 inches so i'll mark 2.5 inches all the way around as you can see me doing okay i'll mark all the way around after doing that i'll connect like this and then i'll go ahead and cut 
so once i cut it out guys this is what i have for the turtle neck you can see that it's big i'll go ahead and place this on another fabric and i'll cut out the lining okay so i'm going to place my fabric right side facing right side or wrong side facing wrong side after doing that i'll open it up and i'll cut the center so i have two pieces. what i'll do is to go ahead and pin them right sides facing right sides all the way around After pinning the circle in place, what I'm going to do is to sew on the inside. I'll sew all the way around on the inside and then I'll notch. Make sure you notch it very well so it's sitting well. After notching, I'll turn to the other side and I'll iron. So guys, this is the fabric I'll be using for the sleeves. And my fabric is on fold. The widest is 17 inches. So everything that I have here is 17 times 2. So what I'm going to do is to bring my basic slip pattern. This is your regular basic slip pattern. I'm going to place the pattern on the folded edge of this fabric and I'll pin. After pinning the pattern paper on the fabric, I'm going to extend these sleeves because we are cutting out a bell sleeves and want it to be really big. So I'll be extending by 10 inches from the pattern paper. I'll use my free hand to trace out the armhole area. After doing that, I'm going to extend this part by one inch. So I'll come out by one inch from the pattern paper. I'll indicate the one inch mark, just like you see me doing. After doing that, I'm going to mark the length of my sleeves. So the length of the sleeves that I have on my um, pattern paper is about 23 inches, which is the length of my sleeves. What I'll do is to extend that measurement by two inches because I'll be aiming on the base of these sleeves and i'll also be joining the upper part of these sleeves to the dress so i'm adding two inches i'm going to go ahead and mark the two inches all the way to the end of this fabric after doing that i'll use my ruler to connect into a straight line just so i'm working on this straight line okay so after doing that guys next thing i'm going to do is to use my ruler to connect from that arm or area to meet this one inch mark okay so i'm going to place my ruler like this in a slanted form and then i'm going to connect from there to meet the end of the fabric so in case you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing after slanting like this i'm going to go ahead and cut after cutting i'll be using this particular sleeves to cut out the second one so after cutting make sure you notch the center so guys i've gone ahead to sew the turtleneck in place i sewed the inside i notched and i turned it to the right side i ironed it properly after doing that i went ahead to top stitch on it just to hold it down that is the part that i'll be sewing to the dress okay so after doing that guys i'm going to go ahead and open the um, neckline area of the dress and i'll pin this turtleneck so look at the parts of the turtleneck that i'm pinning on the fabric on the dress right sides facing right sides i'll pin all the way around so like i said before in case the turtleneck is longer than your um neckline on the dress go ahead and just pin after pinning and sewing you can cut out the excess so i'm pinning all the way around after pinning i'm going to sew with half inch so i forgot to mention that i reduced the size of my turtleneck so 2.5 inches was too much after cutting and ironing i realized that it was still too much so i reduced it by one inch so what i have here is half an inch and i'm still going to sew half inch after sewing i'll be left with one inch so guys the next thing i did was to fix my sleeves okay so go ahead and fix your sleeves after sewing your turtleneck in place so at this point i did not have enough um, space on my device to continue um, filming so what i did was to 
attached my sleeves and I also went ahead to sew the um, base of the sleeves in place and the last thing I did was to fix my zipper so go ahead and do all this after fixing your zipper go ahead and end the base of your dress yeah guys that is all that I did in this tutorial I hope it was helpful in case you are confused don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe if you are not a subscriber I'll see you guys in the next one